Good morning, everyone. Our third and final day here at Smith Lake in Virginia. I'm going to start things off today with top waters, this little guy. And then we've also got, this is what I'm starting off with, the Whopper Plopper, the black one. And then we've also got a black frog. I have hurried up and made my way out to the dam because that's where I think I'm going to have the most luck. That's where I caught most of my fish yesterday, like in uh, like successive order. So uh, one after another, and today I'm only going to do top water. Uh, on my way back, I might throw the usual confidence lures. I have tried. Um, I'm not going to say that there aren't no big fish here. I just don't know how to fish for them. Um, I've used my confidence lures that I have thrown uh, in Texas, in New York, and they've produced for me, but they're all small. So today I'm hoping to catch a big fat one on one of these top waters. I will do my best not to cast too far so that we can at least try to get the blow up on camera. Let's get started. up right here and then just work all the way down the rocks back and forth until we used all three lures we'll see how that that works out all right there we go oh <laughs> we got we got a little bitty ditch pickle trying to go after it already so I was just telling myself, if there's going to be any big fish out here, this is the lure to get them to strike. Every time I've used this, I've at least a one pounder. And we have had no takers so far. I've varied up my retrieve. Now I'm going on a, just a straight retrieve, keeping that little plop, 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 plop going. And... We have nothing, nothing to show for thus far. And the only reason why I've got the frog and the small micro popper is just so that we can test that theory out. Uh, are the small ones going to start biting when I throw something a little bit smaller in size? And well, it's looking like that's going to be what's going to happen. Uh, we'll test it out as soon as we switch to the other lures. All right, so that is it for the Whopper Plopper. I don't want to just go the whole distance of the dam to only spook everything that is alongside it. So what we're going to do now is go to the uh, frog. It's a little bit bigger in size than our Micro Popper. And we've got to save the remainder of the dam to see if there's going to be anything willing to bite this thing right here so I need to get a little bit closer to the rocks uh oh yeah look the little guys are coming up and trying to bite it it's exactly what I thought they don't want to hit the whopper plopper it's just too big of a lure for them to like wrap their mouth around and oh <laughs> that was another blow up Uh, oh, oh man, that was that was the the best blow up thus far. That was just a little bit late. He caught me with my pants down. Okay, let's get the water out and uh, let's keep trying. Yeah. All right. Several blow ups and uh, I've set the hook immediately. I've tried giving them a chance just to see if the lure is going to pop back up if they actually even had it in their mouth and it doesn't matter which way I do it. I'm getting the blow ups 
It's got to be small guys, though, because they're not getting it all the way inside their mouth. They're going after it, though. And I got to give them credit for trying to get a big lure inside that tiny little mouth, just like that right there. Like, he, he took it down, and uh, that's about it. Good try, fella. Come back when you're another year old or something. All right, I think the next run, we're just gonna turn around and go into the wind. It'll be a lot easier to control the boat and not drift so fast. Oh gosh, yeah, those winds are picking up. Thank goodness we've got the autopilot. Oh my God, there's a turtle. Oh, that's a bass, look at that. I thought it was a turtle. It had to have been a turtle right next to him. Boy, this guy, this says it all. This speaks volumes for the way this bass looks. He is just completely deformed. Very long body, but super skinny. And for those of y'all that know this lake, y'all can better speak about this. But anytime I see a bass, that's like just, he's comp so skinny. But look how long he is. Just a very skinny body. Too much competition for food, if you ask me. Yeah, this is what they want. This is the juice. If you're gonna come out here and fish, you just gotta fish this right here. Oh, settle down, Billy. Bro, settle down. Bro, come on now. These are treble hooks, and I do not want to get stuck on one. Boy, he is. that brings new meaning to a black bass. Now that is healthy right there. So scratch what I just said about the long skinny fella. Oh wow, we did get him. I saw the little blow up, but then I didn't see my lure anymore, and that just means we got him. This is a respectable size right here for being the little guys. He would probably, we're gonna grab the, the ego, because I don't wanna deal with these treble hooks inside his mouth, and then this dude just flopping all around. The first time that we're grabbing the ego, Come on, buddy. Open your mouth, bro. There we go. But uh, yeah, very respectable sized bass right here. We got a turn. Okay. And we foul hooked the fella too. Look at that. Right on the gill plate. No harm, no foul, buddy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Had I not been using treble hooks, I would not even use the the ultra grip but uh yeah that's one for the books huh nice fatty all right bud slow down dude chill out man gosh <laughs> oh my gosh just one after another man i'm telling you what we're gonna have to leave the dam because this is all we're gonna catch in all honesty i think this is it we're not gonna get anything else that's uh bigger i need you to chill out homie just for a quick second while i get this out of your mouth all right I think that's going to be the last catch that I'm going to film. I'm going to continue going down, but I will not record any more little bitty fellas. If they're big, well, then you're going to be able to see them. Just did a battery swap, and we're going to finish things out with the Whopper Plopper. I did try the frog again. I had one of the biggest bass, uh, not much larger than what we've been catching, but significantly bigger to let me know that there are some that have a little bit of size to them and I got him to bite the uh, popper the white one but that was it uh, we're almost at the end of the dam again so we've oh look at that little fella come out and chased it bit right here um, so yeah we've went the length of the dam twice and I just haven't really caught anything 
with any size to it that lets me believe, I mean, at least puts the confidence in me, myself, that there are some decent fish to be had out here. So we'll finish this right here. I may try a chatterbait along like halfway through. And if we just continue catching the little fellas, then I'm gonna call it quits early and uh, fish my way back to the ramp all alongside the bank, see what we can get on these top waters as well. Maybe they're just not over here. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll find out here soon though. Yeah, I believe this is the biggest that I'm going to catch right here. This guy almost got the entire popper down his mouth. We have almost just about made our way halfway back to the ramp. And uh, this is as big as they're going to get for me. Nothing bigger than that right there. <laughs> Keep shaking that tail, bud. Oh my gosh. This lake looks... I mean, absolutely gorgeous, and I know they've, there's got to be some bigger bass out here, but it's beyond me why they wouldn't be up against the bank. Can't be much different than me fishing in New York, Tennessee, and the big fish, they you can catch them early in the morning against the bank, so I'm just puzzled. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I can't trick any big ones to come up and bite, I swear. <laughs> I hope you're not the same fella, and it doesn't appear to be. Whoa, buddy, hold on. Oh, hey, dude, hold on, man. Hey. Bro. Okay, look, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take it off. I'm not even going to grab you. Uh-oh, there we go. Let's get that out the way. Watch out, fish out of water, everybody. Dude, chill, bro. Okay, look, there you go. There we go. <laughs> yes, baby, look at that right there. I knew they had to be in here. Just switched it up and then whammo. First one, I am just super excited everyone because this just means that uh, we have a better chance of catching some crappie than we do the big largemouth bass. I saw them right here, so I hit spot lock, and I was like, we just got to give it a go. Put on a crappie lure, and look at that, a baby little crappie. Come on, man. Let's get us a big one. They're right ahead, and hopefully we're going to be able to do it to it with these fellas. Oh my gosh, look at that. They chopped the little fork off on his tail. Oh my gosh, I am super excited. Please let one of those guys be a big one. Right there. I'm just going to let it come back through and 10 feet of water. Crappie are always staring upwards. So uh, let's see if we can get another one. It was about three or four of them that I saw. There's the bite. This one's got a little bit more weight. little bit bigger oh you guys just don't know how happy I am to see these fellas wow not bad getting bigger such a great tasting fish too 
There's the thump. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I wish they were just a little bit bigger. I know I'm sounding stingy now, but... I, I just want to see a massive slab come out of this lake. It's such a beautiful spot that you can't help but want to see something really nice come out of it. There we go. Wow. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. We got some raindrops coming down. Sorry about that. Let's uh, clean it off really quick. All right, so just uh, really, really excited. Um, unlocked one of the secrets of this lake. So there, inside these fingers, what I'm gonna do is if I come back, I will search out all these style areas and uh, like right below me, I'm marking more crappie. Let's just hurry up and get back to fishing. Got him. Got him. Yeah, baby. Now that's one with a little bit of size right there. Perfect hook set. I'm going to say he's about nine inches long. Right there. It's the biggest one that I've caught on the day. Worthy of a photo. So I'm just going to let this fella go and... We'll continue on our quest with trying to find the big one. They are tearing it up. Yep, yeah, hook feels good. I'm so glad I decided to come in here and try for the crappie before I leave. Oh, wow. All right, little buddy. Oh my gosh, the quick release. That's just what I like. Hold on, play it. Well, these guys are definitely down there. Uh, after catching those first four that I had marked on the hummingbird, I started moving around, or actually just drifting with the wind, and stumbled across a few more. Um, so I just spot locked it, and I think we might be able to catch one or two more, but it's almost time for me to leave. Either way, finding these guys is just a plus it is like icing on the cake for a very tough day of trying to catch some big bass i mean we've caught a lot of small ones but the big ones that's what we were after and uh, failed miserably a great day overall i mean the scenery is just spectacular saw three bald eagles and a couple of falcons or whatever they are hawks something like that a baby deer, a little fawn, and uh, plenty of turtles. <laughs> we also spooked a raccoon while he was trying to eat. But uh, a great day overall. <laughs> Is that a bass? Hey dude, come on now. What are you doing down there with those guys? Bro, you done messed up the rotation, man. Come on, Mr. Largemouth. That is one right there. Not bad. So I'm very curious. This seems to be the average of what I'm catching now. Every once in a while we'll get a little fella. But I want to know what size they are just so that I know what I'm working with throw you on the board yeah nine and a quarter so at least we know what we're dealing with I'm gonna leave this up here just in case we catch us a Mondo 10 incher <laughs> in Texas I'm used to catching around what's like 15 inch crappie New York oh my gosh talk about some big ones over there too it wasn't uncommon to catch a nice 16 incher but about 14 15 was the average size in New York as well that was a spectacular lake on West Point 
Just want to see if we can catch, break a, like a 10 or 11 inch mark. All right, somewhat better results than the first two days. Uh, able to catch some crappie, and that's because I was specifically trying to target those guys and manage to pull a few of those fellas in. So uh, that might be tomorrow's video, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna head over to Cabela's to pick up some lures. I talked to another angler there at the bank uh, before I left the lake, and he was saying that, yeah, there are some big ones in there, but they are like terribly hard to catch. And uh, uh, I don't know, we're gonna go restock on some plastics, some hooks, and uh, maybe get a lure or two just to try out and uh, we'll see. Not too sure what we're gonna do, but if we end up going back to the same spot, then I'm probably gonna go after some crappie and uh, try the new lures. All right, if you enjoyed this one, click that thumbs up button. For those of y'all not subscribed to the channel and you're enjoying the freshwater content, then be sure to click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell icon so that Google will let you know whenever I drop another video. We're here for the next, uh, say, let's say about a month. So uh, lots of freshwater content coming your way. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.